Welcome to the Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello and Happy New Year from Hopkinton Coffee Break. We are particularly excited about this show as we're doing something different and I'm looking forward to our conversation today with Darlene and Connie and a few chips off the wonderful blocks, <laughs> our beautiful daughters who you're going to meet and we're going to talk to. And we're so excited to have everybody here over the, this holiday. So um, I'm excited to introduce and um, broadly, but have everyone introduce themselves because um, we've got some, some great people here. So why don't we start here? We'll start with you. Tell us about you. Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm Darlene's daughter. Yes, and Melissa, you are um, in what grade? I'm a freshman. Freshman at Hopkins in High School. Mm -hmm. Great. And you have lived here how long? All Four my years? Life. Okay, excellent, excellent. All righty. And Cameron? Yeah, so I guess we moved here when I was four, so I was here up until high school, mm -hmm. which was a lot of fun. Okay. I live in New York now, uh, close to Kira. Yes. It's yeah. a lot of fun, so now we both come back for the holidays. Right. And Cameron and Connie live down the street. Down yeah, the street. I mean, we walked right on neighbors. Yeah, we walked. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So who do we have here? I'm so excited. I'm Kira. Um, as Cameron said, I live in New York now. We moved to Hopkinton a long time ago when I was about 12 or 13, so sixth grade. Oh. Um, and I was in Hopkinton Middle School and High School and graduated way back in 2004. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was the new high school built then? I was um, the first sophomore class in the new high wow. school. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I was cool. always upset I didn't get to go to the Hopkinton High School. It looked so nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's so funny. And goodness. My, and so all these schools were here when you came, or as you are coming along. Yeah. And what we're hearing, I mean, school is maybe the same, different. So what's fun about having these girls here today, I mean, the different stages that you are in life and, and what you're doing and, um, well, yeah. We know we have one in high school, one in college, and one out of college. Yeah. Exactly. So I think exactly. it's, a, um, Kara, where, do you, where did you go to college? I went to Boston College. So I uh, graduated in 2004, high school, and then graduated BC in 2008. Yep. And about five kids from your class went to BC. Yeah, we had a really big BC class. Um, there, yeah, five or six, and then it ended up being more like eight because people transferred oh, from other schools. So oh, okay. we had um, a graduating class out of Hopkinton. There was a significant amount of them. So very cool, very cool. cool. Now, when did you move to New York? I moved to New York in end of 2009. So okay. I'm almost on f five year anniversary, just no. passed, something like that. Um, <laughs> what spurred you to go to New York? Um, you know, I always wanted to go there. I was trying to go there for college, but ended up um, choosing BC over uh, another New York school, Fordham, which is in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, always wanted to move there and, and kind of have that New York big city since Hopkinton's little. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, doing, we're, we're doing a New York day trip on Monday. Oh, yeah. In and out one day. <laughs> in and out one day. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be that'll be a long day for you. <laughs> she likes to do that though. You can get a lot in. Yeah. Oh yeah. Get there early. It is. It is. Well, you okay. Cameron, you're doing this New York as well. So <laughs> tell And your story is interesting in terms of um, how long you went to school in Hopkinton and then. Yeah. yeah. Well, I um left. I really went to Hopkinton up till high school, and then I went to a secondary school where Connor and Emerson, my older brothers, had gone to. Mm -hmm. And then I am in New York right now for college, which was kind of just the move. It was the school that I wanted to go to, and so now I've kind of gotten into the, to the yeah. big city swing. Yes, well, <laughs> but yeah. it's I I love it. There's mm -hmm. a lot to do. We got these um, we got these little Fitbits for Christmas mm -hmm. okay. to tell you how many mm -hmm. steps you've taken. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting at home realizing I only take like 200 steps. Really? <laughs> oh, because it's already here. Oh, here. here. Just, well, it's mostly because she's just been feeding us and we've been sitting around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, it's a little funny. But in the city, you run yeah, around. Oh, in the city, you, yeah, you'll burn a thousand minutes. steps in 20 minutes. <laughs> right, right. I like it because it's my goal's a little low right now. Once <laughs> I get back, it'll tell me to move. That's good. So when you... 
get out of college, which you're a senior this year? I'm actually a junior, so I've uh, finished this. I have one year left. So. And tell them about where you're going. Where are you, where you got, well, we know and tell the world um, where you're going. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll stay in New York. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a big world. Yeah. But you're at the, the, the Pratt Institute? Oh, yeah. I go to the Pratt Institute yes. out in Brooklyn. Yes. So yes. it's a lot of fun. Okay. Um, I like it. It's a little segregated from too much hustle and bustle. Yeah. And it's a closer community. But you're right in the, in the you know, fashion heart of things. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely. And I'm close to um, my older brother just moved out there, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's losing everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, it, I figure the closest my kids will ever live is me here, there, and yeah. them in New York. Three hour drive. And, 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 yeah, exactly. Let's <laughs> say three hour drive. Yeah, it's, it's a, a three hour drive. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, so. I think of Melissa as a budding fashionista and other things too, because I know you have an interest in, in vintage clothes. I know we yeah. talked about that a little bit. So, you know, these big girls, yes, indeed, but it was just the other day when they were in high your school, grade, yeah. in high school. So, yeah, so what are you, what, how are things? And you're in the ninth grade, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, what, what are you looking forward to the rest of this year? And, and I'm just looking forward to enjoying my classes. And mm -hmm. I'm next semester, I'm doing fashion textile design. Cool. Oh. They have that at this high school now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> and she's in film and television now and yeah. stuff yeah. like that. She's always drawing, sketching of outfits, just sketching everything. Random that's awesome. Yeah, that's I really wish I did cool. more of it in high school because yeah. it took me till maybe my later years in high school to like figure out what I really like to do is practice it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so these are, are these. T what what would you? Uh, it will change maybe a million times. But do you think about knowing what it is you'd like to do or just? Yeah, I just have like so many ideas. Like, what if I'll be like a lawyer or something? Yeah. Oh, like, love that. Mm -hmm. It's like maybe a science teacher, stuff like random. Okay. They're all like so far apart though. That's okay. But and then yesterday she's like, well, I might go to Mass College of Art. Now here she's saying art, you know, lawyer and science teacher. I'm like, well, <laughs> well law is as much exactly art as science, I'm exactly. sure. <laughs> you guys are going to live to be 100. And I wouldn't be surprised if you have the first 25 years of your professional life, one career, and when you're 50, you have 50 more years to live. <laughs> and you reinvent yourselves and do the next phase. So mm -hmm. I really look at what you're doing and saying, hey, phase one. Um, and and the phases can be short. Because yeah. I, I, your story, I, I love it in terms of, you went to New York. <laughs> I know. I was hmm? but you, <laughs> you, you, story? Story. you scared us to death. Going to New York City, leaving you know a, a nice job, a safe job here in Boston. And you rolled the dice, moved to New York with a couple dollars saved to get an apartment with this expectation that you would find something and then make your way. Now, you know, that was fairly unsettling for your father and I. <laughs> I recall. <laughs> Truth be like, told. No. <laughs> Truth be told. <laughs> but, you know, it's amazing and to be young in New York. I mean, you got a job in three weeks, a temp into the banking industry. And so you really kind of started there and made some in, in, interesting choices to redirect that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, the, about that? Thought, yeah, yeah um, I mean, it was definitely kind of random getting into <laughs> finance as an art major and communications major. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, so I was not looking in that field at all. Um, and then in Boston, I, my first job was at an internship and then eventually a full-time position at WGBH-TV. So I was kind of trying to do the television route. Um, and I quickly learned that not only does it not pay very much in New York City, it's really competitive. So I kind of said, let me just try to pay the bills first and then we'll figure out the rest of it. Um, but it ended up being a really great experience. I was working on the trading floor of a French um, investment bank, which You're is BNP, kind of... You were BNP, you? Yeah, BNP. Yeah, tennis. Yeah, um, it, it, yeah. the bank is called BNP Paribas and they have a big... Um, Europe, they're like the Bank of America of Europe, essentially. Yeah. Um, and they... And it was cool. It's a trading floor. It looks very, you know, Wolf of Wall Street. Everyone's screaming and swearing and running all over the place and there's tickers everywhere and I was like okay well at least if it's mathy it's kind of exciting <laughs> so um so I was there for three years as an executive assistant and um and it was a lot of fun and then I decided I really should be you know using my major and being more um something more creative something more long term so I left there and, and started working in digital advertising um mm -hmm. which was a complete departure but Ironically enough, a lot of people from finance go into 
uh, digital advertising because there's a lot of movement analytics, analytics that mm-hmm. go along with bidding on ads and so statistics. a lot of statistics mm-hmm. and trends and um, so a lot of analytical banking people who are trying to make the switch into something more um, media related will do that um, and that's kind of where a couple of my friends had left the banking industry and went to this one specific company so I moved with them and then now I'm on to my second um, media agency so can firmly say I've left banking and now more communications oriented. <laughs> Absolutely. Woo-hoo. So yeah. navigating, I mean, you know, in terms of um, yeah. careers this way and that way, I mean, that we have a whole different perspective yeah. now yeah. Yeah. on how, yeah. when, you know, what we were thinking about at the time. So goodness knows when you're out of high school and college, it could be a whole other yeah, slant don't on things. I think about it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, enjoy yourself, right? <laughs> And they, my experience with BMP is always through the tennis world yeah. mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I mean, they basically own tennis. Yeah, yeah. they run. Um, they sponsor the big uh, U.S. Open up in upstate New York, or then there's another uh, tennis match that's really big. They do Champions Cup. Yep, in New York. Mm-hmm. They do that. And then they, they, they sponsor the French, French Open. Open. Yeah. yeah, it's huge. They're, I mean, yeah. they own the French Open. And mm-hmm. I had no idea. That's when I first met you, darling. Right. We had a conversation. That we had all gotten together up at. Pad Thai. Pad Thai, before it was yep. Pad Thai. And you, were, you you said that to me, and I told, was telling you about Cura PMP, and you went into this whole thing about tennis. I had no idea. And then, of course, when you start seeing the tennis tournaments, you see the branding. Yeah. I think everywhere. they say, we are tennis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a that was Bank of the changing world, yeah. can I say. Mm-hmm. So, 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 coming home for Christmas for both of you guys... Did you guys sleep in, or were you up at the crack of dawn on Christmas Day? You slept in. I yeah, I've been sleeping in more than usual. I think when I come home, it it just shifts. Like I, because even if when school's out, if I'm still back in New York, I'll wake up early. But everyone on Christmas decided to wake up very early for maybe the first time in years. I remember as a kid, I couldn't get them up at eight. Right, right, right. But they were up, and so I was up. <laughs> but it was nice. It was actually really nice to have the full day. Well, you haven't. Um... You have stuff that you're doing back in New York work-wise, but at home, you can't do yeah, any of that stuff. Really so, yeah. so she has nothing to do, which is great. Yeah. So she's really decompressing and just hanging. So yeah. it's really quiet. Yeah. 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 So it's you're off for a few weeks. You have to go back to work? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, I'm back to work. Actually, not until the new year, but, you know, telecommuting, working from home yeah. mm-hmm. next week. So. Well, you're working next week with the, your, she does some. Yeah, I've, I've had a couple, like, I always do a side job or a side internship, and right now I'm just assisting and doing PR for, like, an independent designer okay. um, who's went to school in New York or collections in New York, but she has, she lives out in L.A. right now, so I have to do everything. So I kind of know it's actually really yeah, yeah, wonderful, yeah, yeah. but I have like when all the physical stuff is in New York, so I kind of am going back and forth between here. So I'm gonna go there, and then I'm gonna come back here for a little bit of time before we jet off for a January vacation. Wow. Yeah, you guys have a big trip coming up. Yeah. I'm Ooh, excited. When are you going? And um, where? To- we're going to Italy mm-hmm. on the. Ninth of January. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mom, daughter, fat mother, daughter to the fashion capital oh, Milan. Milan. Oh, oh yeah, going to Milan. Yeah. So that's awesome. I don't yeah. know how much like purely fashion I want to get. Oh gosh, I right. Yeah. I just mean I can. You can like just lose me, and I'll just stare at some buildings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine with that. You'll be inspired by it. Yeah. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm trying to like. You know that scene in Eat, Pray, Love where they have yeah. yeah. pizza yeah. and just unbutton the pants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you size zero there. That would be. Well, you know, after all the pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah indeed. Oh, she wants to save up for a trip to London somehow. Really? Oh, now, why do you want to go to London? Well, I want to go to London because it just seems so awesome and everything. <laughs> yeah. And they speak it's English, like, so. Yeah, right, so. Right. And Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. She loves Doctor Who. Yeah. Well, you, oh, really? I know Brad, my husband's just a like, Doctor Who fan, or used to be. It's just London, so, yeah. 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 No, you save up enough, and you take off maybe just a week. Mm-hmm. Go to all your classes all the time until you can skip a whole week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go I don't know if that vacations. works totally in high school, but that's what a lot of uh, kids end up doing, because you get like, a certain amount of cuts, oh. so they just save them to oh, jet off for a week. Off. Yeah. And then, like, what do you want to What do you want to do in London? I just want to like sightsee and like see everything and do everything. Yeah. They have. 
and um, just everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots to look forward to. You were a bit of a traveler back yeah, in school. And yeah, I went abroad um, in college. That's yeah. right. You were in Paris. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Yeah, it was definitely cool. So she's never cool. done that. And it's, well, it's okay. Are you, are you doing a study abroad? Is that part of your program options? or? No, I don't know. I'm interested in it. Um, it just always kind of depends where the cards fall. Yeah. Like yeah. when you have something, I've just, I've always constantly had something in New York and yeah. so it ended up being there. So I ended up staying there. Yeah. But since I always look into it every now and then, they, my family definitely pushes me. To study abroad. <laughs> where did you study abroad? It's worth it. I had a really awesome time. I didn't want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> but she did an extended stay. So you were there like six months. Yeah, so right. it was it was January through I came back beginning of July. Yeah. And so, where did you go? Yeah, Paris? I was in Paris. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. And and, um, and so the way that our semesters were set up there was pretty I mean it's Paris, they're all about leisure, so they were they, they gave us really long breaks. Like wow. spring break was like three weeks. Oh like, word. <laughs> two and a half, something like that, like fifteen days. Um mm-hmm. so a lot of traveling and then it's great too because you can go take all the trains or really cheap flights to places so we would go we went to the south of france we went to spain we went to italy we went to greece um so you got lots of stamps in your passport yeah yeah, yeah definitely well she just went to the south of france this summer or when mm-hmm. was it yeah, yeah visiting boss. some friends yeah. who um have family out there they're half French, so they have that's like their family vacation. This is south of France. Oh, oh wow. wow! Yeah, so, right. You know, yeah. they just that's their perfect. Well, their Chris, <laughs> that's their vineyard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do it every summer. They rent houses, and it's very, um, it's not foo foo at all. It's very low key, rustic farmer. Like I love nobody farm dresses to up. Yeah. Farm to table. You just drink, eat, and hang out with family, and it's super low key, and it's all um, lavender fields and. Sunflower oh. fields and it's How beautiful. Cool. Yeah. How cool! And so I was like, I could do this. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, you know, just you know, thinking holidays and so forth. I mean, you know, your moms. We talked a lot about what we were cooking, what we were doing. Oh, yeah. We're excited about our babies always. You know, so when you thinking back, when you when you come home, what what are the things that you look forward to? Um, you know, that make you feel warm and in, inside about coming to, coming home for the holidays. Any particular foods or special things or um, Santa gifts. <laughs> I was I was a tart. I was <laughs> oh, we have some tart. I was really excited to get fed. But she's in a kick right now she likes to make a lot of desserts. Yes. Oh, we and I, there are a lot of desserts on the table. I think um, at our house still. Yeah, they're still yeah. there. Um, they've been consumed slowly. But I was I was really excited to get fed. Christmas dinner was good as always. Well you did the Wellington. Wellington we yeah. the beef Wellington came That was great. really good. Did you, I'd love to. Did you, I hope somebody took some pictures of the dish. Well, I don't know. If, Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Camera out a few times. But um, if we got into the habit years ago of not putting up the Christmas tree uh, because her middle brother, Emerson's birthday is beginning in December, so we always put it up later. Mm-hmm. Well, this year, waited until they all got home. Well, Which was two days before Christmas. No, yeah, we were just as bad. So <laughs> they went out to get <laughs> the Christmas tree. You put everything tree. on there. <laughs> And you, you I'll, I'll let you take over the story on getting the Christmas well, tree now. See, you guys have the fake one, which right? And yeah. I said, "Let's just do that." You yeah. got a tree every year, and it looks great. Well, yeah. But so last year, Emerson and I went out and got a tree, and it was a little wonky. We put the wonky side in the back, and then this year, no, it was three days before Christmas. So this year, we brought Connor along. Two days so and there was. I think five or six trees left in the lot at mm-hmm. Western Nurseries, <laughs> <laughs> and it was between like a few wonky trees. Charlie Brown Christmas oh, Charlie, tree. I, I, vote, I was I was a uh, pro Charlie Brown Christmas tree, but <laughs> we ended up getting this like this twelve foot huge. round huge Ooh. Christmas tree. I mean, it's really lovely. It was decorated. I don't mind it as much, but they call it the Christmas orb or the Christmas oh. bush. Well, they they, they cut, cut it down. It, yeah, they cut it down. We don't have a twelve feet. Tw- yeah. Oh, right. Like a twelve foot ceiling. <laughs> no, no, they, they don't. don't. They cut it down to eight feet at Weston, and then we brought it home and had to cut it down a little more because oh, wow. it was at like a lean and, yeah. in the house. The too. Christmas orb. But I, I love, love it. That. It's, it's, it's not comical. It's we she's she loves her ornaments. Yeah. And we got everyone. We got almost every everyone on there we bought a whole new 400 200 feet of string lights and you know, <laughs> like half the lights. yeah but yeah. it's i love 
I mean, it's be- oh, I will take a picture of it. I'm, yeah, we've done an artificial tree. We've then this tree has been in the family for over fifteen years. Oh, that looks great. We didn't put our tree up until a couple of days before Christmas, and I have to say we kind of skimped this year. We didn't bring out the big box of the old ornaments, and I, your tree process is amazing. You know, with all the different ones. Yeah, you, but, yeah. You so have more than one tree, yeah. right? Yes. So, how many trees do you have? Yeah. Well, we have like four. Four trees, and then we have like two Charlie Brown trees. And you have a oh, pink Charlie tree. Trees. They're great. Yeah. You yeah. Have, do you have a pink? And they're all alive. Yeah. yeah. No, no, well, the pink one's not alive. Well, no, the pink. <laughs> oh yeah, we just spray <laughs> painted, you know. Spray <laughs> painted real. We only have one real tree. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We get that from the Boy Scouts. And this year they sold out a week before Christmas. I too. believe it. Wow. Did they we deliver? Have- no, but that's one troop sells them and the other troop picks up and recycles them. So, okay. the the recycling for the Boy Scout tree starts a week. From it starts the first two Saturdays in January. Yeah. You you email, give them your address. You put ten dollars in a in a Ziploc bag and put your tree out, and they take it. Oh, okay. yeah. They get they bring bring them over to the sawmill near here. Yeah. And they chip them, and then a truck comes while they're chipping them, takes the chips up to New Hampshire, and they're converted into wood pellets. Yeah. Oh, so it's a full nice. recycling oh, thing, nice. and it's actually Troop Four's largest fundraiser and Troop One's biggest fundraiser selling the trees. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Really but, but yeah, talk about, about the trees, trees Melissa. So our main tree just has like a bunch of like mishmash of ornaments <laughs> from like going to like the Bahamas and Maine and like everywhere. And then we have like a small five foot fake tree that we put all our old Christmas um, cards on. See, I love that idea. Yeah. That's really nice. But yeah. And then we just have like two small little fake trees, like the pink one and then a smaller green one that we just put like little bulbs on and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So they're almost like all themed. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. should do that. They could be the kids' well, craft ornaments. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I love that with the Christmas cards. Well, do you remember yeah. the Muscatellas we made ornaments years yeah. ago? Oh. They used to have their the neighborhood. Yeah. 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 yeah the neighborhood a- Christmas party. And we still have. In fact, it's in the box. The it's in the box. box. <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh, everything's in the box. In the box. I don't throw anything away. <laughs> she can attest yeah. to it. For Christmas, if it was made by a kid, yeah. No. It doesn't matter how sad it's looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doesn't get the box. Exactly. But I remember the uh, tongue compressors were the big. You yes. Know, the, that you, you painted and they were like sticks. 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 But they, they, but they were bigger. They were yeah, they were white. Yeah. And, the, yeah. and then the peanuts. And she, you know, the, uh, they were the baby manger. And baby and Jesus a peanut was, in a, it. was a peanut in the Oh my gosh. In the, um, oh, yeah, that's, right. that's I mean, adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all kind of jury rig, but I saw that. Like, yeah, I think that was yeah. one of Evan's One of the kids. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Our big I mean, tree, you know, it's everything from what she said, you know, things we pick up while we're traveling and stuff to. Their first baby shoes and mittens are on it, and oh ons and ons. So oh, the hotel God. keys from Michael and I's honeymoon is up there. Oh my it's God. Like, oh, I see. It's, it's it's stuff like that. Oh, that's that's really cute. Cute. And then um, the pink tree is actually just things that like kind of retro mid-century stuff. They're all yeah. turquoise ornaments and fifties cars and flamingos. Oh, oh that's stuff cool. like that. Wonderful. Oh, I love that. But Very someday tradition. I want to have one in the kitchen that's all cookie cutters, I think. I'd like to put another <laughs> fake one in there that's all cookie cutters. Well, we could do that. This year we made Christmas cookies, and my rebel children didn't use most of the Christmas cookie cutters. Uh-oh. Well, she has Halloween-themed Christmas cookies. <laughs> right. Who makes cookies on Halloween? Well, you so used to use them. Really cool, so we use them at Christmas. Yeah, yeah. so we had spiders. And I said to her, like, a link to um, the Ninja Ginger Men. Oh, I know. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 like, El Karate Chick. Yeah. Well, oh, that's it's perfect. Oh, we didn't do gingerbread houses this year. Yeah. You could still do that. Oh, we could still awesome. do them. Well, yeah. you know, it so could be your New Year's Eve. Yeah. <laughs> how are you? How long is everybody around? Uh, through till New Year's or not? Or? Are you moving out? Most <laughs> <time>? <laughs> <laughs> a few more years. Yeah. So, are there any like kid parties for New Year's Eve or no? Um, on New Year- on New Year's Eve, we have like a few families over, and usually the- all the kids just hang out in my room and play hide and go seek in the dark. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's just how we go. It's just like, yeah, it's, cool. it's very low key. We play. I don't like to go out on holidays. Well, no, you just work. All the kids are like yelling, Chinese food upstairs. and board games. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a holiday. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. What are, are you, you New York? Are you guys back in New York to watch the ball drop? Uh, uh, uh. 
Are you really going to be out there? I don't know. Oh, I don't no. Think I'm gonna <laughs> Not the ball drop. That's a rite of passage I never oh, need God. to go yeah. through. That's, you have to be out there from like <laughs> people, 3 p.m. People, onwards. People wear like diapers. Right. That's absurd. Yeah, that's, that's something I've heard. Like There's no way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not at the point of where it depends out till. <laughs> and the ball is not as big as it looks on TV, so it's kind of like it's anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah, it's like really wow. like maybe this big. Huh. I don't and, see it on Monday because I've been at this time of year before for work, and, and I've seen see it, it too. There, and it's up there, and it's like. I told him you'll see it on Monday. We won't be there for it, but you can like it'll be up there. Yeah, yeah. but cool. that's a great Some segue. Magic. As we think about, we're heading into 2015, but we need to probably wrap right now. So, oh, oh good, we got me. Well, 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 any thoughts about 2015? Any resolutions or goals? You're thinking about goals? Hmm. Well, what would you like to do? What do you would like to have happen in 2015? I, I, I would love to, I want another big international trip, um, <laughs> you know, try to get a couple countries off my bucket list. Yeah, maybe a, a big trip and, um, you know, make more dollars. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Melissa? I don't know. What's on your wish list? Maybe go to London. That, that year. In 2015? Yeah. Oh, I think as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you. Super funny. Oh, I think my resolutions are the same as they are every year. Every year, I just want to keep on being, having fun with what I'm doing, being happy with myself, mm -hmm. not, you know, I don't know, since you go to school in New York, everything gets fast paced and people are here, people are there. So the biggest thing is just being comfortable with yourself and what you're doing. And every year I get closer and closer to that. Mm -hmm. um, pay my bills. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Uh, 2015 Always. Res goals are to make it to 2016. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thanks for wow. graduating. What, oh, yeah. what about everybody else? What do you oh, think? Tell me what's on your yeah, wish list? You know, Grandkids. I, no, 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 no. I, you know, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I love There's all time three of my kids, all and right now I want them to enjoy their lives way too soon for any of that. Um, oh, I'm a little bit focused on the new oh. um, yeah. the new uh, business, so I want to get that really launched and, mm -hmm. and settled. Um, uh, also thinking about some travel, and uh, we've got our trip coming up, but then there's some summer activities. My mom turns 90 wow. in 2015. Wow. So we want to do a big family reunion. Okay. Darling, how about you? I think kind of like what Cameron said. Just make it to 2016 and pay my bills and walk <laughs> <laughs> it along. <laughs> in the spirit of if you say it out loud, it'll happen. You know, similarly, I um, am looking to um, do, do more things that I'm enjoying, you know, um, that uh, professional and personally. And uh, looking forward to everyone just being happy and healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so happy cheers. New Year. Happy New Year.